Good morning, Kevin Hanks. And good morning to you as well. I'm thinking about a ride today. I think I'm going to head up to Greens Pond Lighthouse. If you're not familiar where that is, that's just up past Porta Grave, where they have those uh, Christmas boats lit up uh, every Christmas. So I think that's where I'm heading today. I'm gonna go to Porta Grave and go out to uh, Greens Point Lighthouse. Sounds like a plan. Just in case you haven't been there before, I'm over here in St. John's and I'm going to head out to Trans Canada. Could go this route. It's a bit longer, more scenic, but I've done that a few times in the last few days. I'm not in the mood. <laughs> so I'm going to take the main route to Trans Canada out and then head up towards Bay Roberts and out to uh, Greens Point Lighthouse. It's a fairly short ride, but I'll spend a couple hours out there. Guess what? I made it to my bike. It's a nice feeling sitting on the bike again. It's only been three days, I think. Still, let's uh that's long enough when you're in a grumpy mood. I'm on my way across Roach's line now. See the horse up on the hill. So yeah, it's been a few days since I was out on my bike. Uh, last Saturday was the last time, I think. So uh, I was in desperate need for a little ride today. Been. Uh, having those grumpy moods again lately. Very agitated, angry, anxious, fearful, depressed, <laughs> you name it, it's there. And uh, it took a lot of energy to get me out of the house this morning because I did not want to go. Even right now while I'm out here riding, it's like, I just want to be home. It's, it's weird how, uh, that's it, mental health, it really messes you up. So anyway, I'm not going to go on about all that stuff right now. I'll do that in another video. We used to call those marshmallow seeds. <laughs> so anyway, today, as I mentioned earlier, we're on our way to uh, Greenpoint Lighthouse. I call it Greens Point, but I think it's Greenpoint. And uh, I'm going to stop into uh, uh, Porta Grave to... Uh, get some drone clips and some photos probably of that area so I haven't been there in almost two years now the last time I was there was probably Christmas of 2022 when my family and my daughter and my wife's son we all went up there and uh, had a look at the uh, Christmas lights it's quite a spectacle they put on up there so anyway I'm gonna stop blabbing now and uh, I hope you enjoy this ride, and I, I hope I enjoy this ride more than anything right now. Because I, uh, I'm not into it. Took the wrong turn. <laughs> Damn Google Maps. Although I'm sure that would have been a nice ride up that way, but it only goes up there and ends. As you can see the big gate.
See how close it was? The road was right there. <sighs> Shit, the wrong signal later. She was going to do the same thing. Good thing I didn't go. All right, now I'm on the right track. <laughs> and I was very close to pulling out in front of that car because she turned her signal light on and slowed down as if she was coming in where I was. But she probably did the same thing I did. Thought that was the right spot and realized, whoops, it's the next one. So I'll forgive her for that reason, but it just goes to show that uh, you can't trust people using signal lights. Good for her for using it and attempting to use it. <laughs> All right, let's see where this takes us. In case you haven't figured it out by now, this is all port grave Yay, boats! They cheer me up a little bit.
Time to put up the drone. All right, we're done. We're done with Porta Grave. Now it's time to head to the lighthouse. I haven't been out there in a couple of years. Hopefully, the road's okay to get out there. My luck, it's probably a hiking trail now. Some nice boats. If you ever get a chance, though, around Christmas time, come down because they have all those strung up with Christmas decorations, and it looks uh, it looks amazing. They put a lot of effort into it. It's going to be a rough road.
I made it. Well, I got a few drone clips in, so it's time to get a coffee on the go, I think. It's almost 30 degrees Celsius. I probably don't really need something warm in me, but a little caffeine wouldn't go astray right now. I'll just put it that way. It's a pot of whales out there. They're a little too far off, though, to go after with my drone. Come in closer, I'll, uh, I'll give it a shot and see if I can get some clips of them, but I'm not gonna hold my breath because they, uh, like I said, they're off a bit too far for my comfort.
All right, so there was a crowd here hanging out, talking, making noises. So I couldn't really record anything at that point because all you'd hear is they're talking most likely. But they're all cleared out. So now I can give you a tour and have a traditional sip of coffee just to do my taste test. All right, let's stroll down to the lighthouse, get a closer look. I actually want to play the drums first. I think that's what they are. Drums. Lay my coffee down. I need a partner. Somebody, quick, join me. I'll take the small one. Inside, <laughs> use my selfie stick. I doubt it. It's a nice area to come and set up my tent some night. This looks like a good enough spot to do my taste test. So here we go. It's probably going to be hot because she didn't have a chance to cool down in these temperatures. Yeah, a little too hot, but the taste is good. I'll be all right. This temperature, it'll last a good 20 minutes, which is probably all I have left here. I'm slowly starting to come around. I'm slowly starting to be glad that I actually left the house and came out here. Slowly. I'm not quite there yet. I'm still kind of disgruntled and grumpy and cranky. That's it. I'll be 52 soon. So uh, in my old age, I'm entitled to get grumpy, I think. <laughs> I don't have a lot to say today. I'm pretty quiet today. So I'm just going to randomly jump in and make these awkward comments while you enjoy the scenery. So keep enjoying the scenery. <laughs> I'm going to switch the topic to uh, a mental health discussion here now. <laughs> Sorry. How many of you ever experienced anticipatory anxiety? I'm sure most of you have. I don't know, you got to give a speech in front of your class, you're nervous about it. That's anticipatory anxiety. But uh, I get it over everything. Everything. It could be something good and I'd still get that feeling and it's like a fearful, scared feeling or intimidated feeling. You feel inferior, you feel like you're worthless and all these things start popping through your head. So you uh, anticipate the worst when it comes to whatever it is you're gonna do. And, uh, and I get that a lot. And it's been very challenging with my medical appointments because appointments cause it too. 
for example, I had a psychologist appointment on Monday and uh, usually three or four days before the appointment, I'm all worked up and stressed and just my head spinning. Like, I don't, what do I want to talk about? What am I going to bring up? And, and you're remembering things that you're trying to forget just so you can talk about it in an appointment. And it takes a toll on you after a while. And I'm extremely stressed right now over the fact that I'm going to be starting ketamine treatment again after the summer. And uh, I had a hard time with that over the winter. I was getting it through nasal spray in the winter time. But starting on August 27, I'm going to start getting the uh, IV version. So they're going to inject it directly into my veins and see how that goes. But just like the winter months, these are three times a week for several weeks. And I'm already like ready to snap over that because I'm the type that if I got one appointment coming up, I shut down like two or three days before the appointment. So if I'm having three appointments at least each week because I'm gonna have psychiatrist appointments to follow up with and psychologist appointments to follow up with, including those ketamine treatments, I, I'm gonna be flipping out. I know it and I anticipate that. Their anticipatory anxiety or anticipatory rage, more like it, is I can't handle all these appointments. And I think uh, a lot of times the appointments are doing more harm than good not all the time. I need. It's great to have somebody there to talk to, but I don't want to talk to anybody. It's 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 like a catch twenty two. I'm screwed, whichever way I look at it. So I got a decision to make. Do I postpone those appointments? And there's a reason for it, because I'm hoping. Like this winter was horrible for me. I had. I didn't know what to do with myself. I was going through two or three different med changes and everything was just taking a toll on me. And now I'm forcing myself to get out riding a motorcycle and it helps, it gets me out, it gets me distracted for a while and I'm making these videos. Now I gotta go back home and edit these videos. So there's the positives from the riding is it keeps me occupied, it keeps me busy. Even though half the time when I'm doing it, I don't want to be doing it. Like right now, today, I do not want to be out here in Greenpoint by Greenpoint Lighthouse. It's, it's weird how it works. But I'm here because I force myself to be here, if that makes sense. It probably does make sense. So, with those ketamine treatments coming, it's like my mind is already trying to shut down the whole summer. Like the whole summer, I can't do anything because I got ketamine treatments at the end of it. Like my, I got my parents' uh, 50th wedding anniversary coming up this weekend. We got something else coming up the weekend after. There's another motorcycle ride later on in August. And, and I see these things and that's it. I can't do anything else. And it's, uh, it takes a huge toll on me because I get nothing done around the house. I procrastinate, and uh, it's it's all, and it's all out of, out of fear and anger and anxiety and depression and this feeling of helplessness or being, I don't know, like you're useless. It's like all these things just come just together. It's like that. I used this analogy before, but it's like those bing, bingo ball machines where the balls are just tumbling around in there. And, that's the way my head feels. And that's why I'm kind of focused on this rant right now and I can keep going. And of course, as soon as I say that, I forget what I was gonna say next. Anyway, I think I said enough. I don't wanna drag this out. This is supposed to be a nice scenery of, of the lighthouse plus uh, Port of Grave. And I don't wanna ruin it with all my whining about my mental health issues. But it's helping me. So I'm venting, I'm getting things out. And, uh, and that's uh, causing, I don't know, it gives, it's like a little relief valve up there somewhere. I don't know where it is, maybe it's in the hat. But as soon as I vent a little bit, it's like a, a quick release. It's just a temporary release. So what's next for me? Because like I said, I, the, the motorcycle riding, it, it works two ways. It benefits me, but it's also, something that I'm, I'm not even wanting to do a lot of times. 
I got it in my head now that I'm going to start doing some backpacking. I'm going to start picking the easier East Coast trail trails and uh, just go in halfway or full way and uh, start setting up my tent and sleeping overnight that way. We'll see how that goes because I'm overwhelmed with indecisiveness. It's like I just can't think about it. I can't make a decision. Where am I going to go camping? Like that's it. And I've been three or four weeks trying to figure out where I'm going to go. Even though I did go camping on motorcycle, but I'm referring to the backpacking type because I, I, I don't even know where to start really. I suppose just pick a trail and go. <laughs> that's about it. And I even got a new tent ordered for that as well. So I'm spending money on these hobbies that I'm trying to force myself into, but I end up wasting a lot of money because a lot of these hobbies I don't do. I bought a whole bunch of scuba gear here a couple years ago. And I threw on the wetsuit once. That was out in Tides Cove Beach. And that was it. I was out there for 10 minutes swimming with jellyfish and, uh, and put it away. And that's it. And I have zero interest in doing it again. Anyway, this went on long enough. I'm going to hop back on the motorcycle. I'm going to finish this coffee and uh, do some deep breathing. To calm down after all this. So we see you in a second. Might as well clean up. I only got a quarter of my coffee left. By the time I'm done cleaning, that'll be ready to chug. Not even sure if I'm supposed to be down here with my motorcycle. It's not hurting. It's not like I'm out doing uh, tearing up the ground or anything. Because you got rocks up there blocking the trail, but I assume that's more for uh, full size vehicles because people probably would bring their campers down here and stay for the night. flying ant. <laughs> it's a good time to start shutting down now anyway because there's more tourists coming. The last group were from Ontario because I overheard them wondering how tidal, how do tides work. I could overhear their conversation there. Curious about how often the tide comes in and out each day. Well, I'll see you on the motorcycle.
Well, I hope you enjoyed the ride today and some of the little deep discussions. <laughs> I'm going to sign off now since uh, all that's left now is the uh, highway, the Veterans Highway, Veteran Memorial Highway through uh, Bay Roberts and uh, and that's it until I get to the Trans Canada and then it's straight home. So it's not much exciting for you there. Unless you want to keep this camera here on and just stare at me while I'm riding for the next 45 minutes to an hour. Just kidding. I wouldn't do that to you. So anyway, thanks again for uh, watching my video and tagging along with me on my uh, travels. Don't forget to subscribe as well. I'd appreciate that. Because I know that there's certain benefits that come with so many subscribers and uh, I'd like to take advantage of those benefits that's it no other reason it's nothing about having this big audience to show my rides to or anything like that it's just uh, access to uh, certain uh, I can't remember what the word is I'm looking for now certain features that uh, YouTube offers once you hit subs uh, so many subscribers but anyway I'm not blabbing about that so I'm starting to sound like a sales pitch. So anyway, take care, and I'll see you on the next ride.